In this video, we will look at how to use a donut chart design to create this infographic in Canva. I create a design and select the presentation style. We are going to use the structure of a donut chart for our design. On the left hand panel, click on elements, scroll down to charts, and under pie chart, select the donut chart. With the chart selected, on the left-hand panel under Settings, uncheck Show Labels. We want our donut chart to have six sections with borders in between each section. But there is no way to set borders for the donut chart, so we are going to trick it. And the way we'll do that is the way we set up the data. Our data will look like this with the value 50 for the first section of the chart, followed by two for the border, and we will repeat this six times for each of the six sections. Clear the data and enter the values 50 and then two and then 50 and then two. Make sure to enter the values in the second column and you can leave the first column blank. Now let's assign colors to our chart. For the first color, I'm going to use a soft green, and the second color, which is the border, a white. And then I'll continue this around the chart using the same green color, followed by a white border, for the first four sections. I will leave the codes for the colors and fonts that I use in the description for this video. For the last two colors, we want it to look like the donut chart is open in that section, so I'm going to assign those colors as white. I want the chart to be a little bit off center, so I'm going to rotate it and then click on the three dots, select position and set the rotation to 25. Let's add under text our heading. The title will be Paths to Wellness and the infographic will show four different paths to wellness. For the title font, I am using Laura size 50. I center the title in the middle of the page and then also center the donut chart in the center of the page and that way both the title and the chart are lined up correctly. There will be a separate subheading for each of the four sections. So the first section or path to wellness is the intellectual path. And I am using the Roboto font, size 48, bold, and adjust the spacing between the letters to 70. And then add the other three categories. So we'll have intellectual, physical, emotional, and spiritual paths to wellness. Now let's add an image to the design under elements. Scroll down to graphics and search for woman runner. And I'm going to add a filter to search for images with the color black and add it to the design. I can zoom in and by pressing the control key while I move the image, I can adjust it exactly where I want it to be. Now let's add an image for each of the four categories. For the intellectual category, I will search for woman reading icon and the filter on the color black is still there. Find an image that I like. I want the images to appear on each of the four sections of the donut chart. I like this image because it is somewhat transparent so you can see the color of the chart behind the image. I then repeat the process for the other four categories, cropping them if necessary, And for one of the images, I also change the colors. If 
because I want this image to also appear as though it is transparent and you can see the color of the donut chart behind it, I am going to select the color of the chart for parts of the image. Now I'm going to zoom in and rotate each image so that they are facing outside of the chart. Although each image is in a different style, by using the same colors and size for the images, they come together really well in the design. Now let's add a description under each of the four categories. For the text in the description, I am using the font Laura, which is the same font as the title. Let's add a few final touches. Going to Elements and Lines and Shapes, I will select a circle, place it in the middle of the chart. Change the color of the circle to white and the transparency to 50%. And then adjust the circle so that part of it overlaps the sections of the donut chart. And now the image appears behind the circle, so I'm going to right click the image and go to Layers and bring to the front. The background of the chart, I will set it to a light green color. Select the donut chart and set the last section of it to the same color as the background. This infographic could perhaps be used in an online article about women's health. Using a donut chart for the underlying structure saved time and worked out perfectly. The donut chart combined with the image of the runner brings the reader's attention to the title and conveys a sense of motion. The chart lets the reader know that there are four distinct topics. Instead of displaying the topics in different colors, we went for a more subtle approach and used the same color but divided each section with a white border. While the donut chart does not represent numerical data, it does contain descriptive images, which are a form of information. The black color gives the design a boldness and strength and contrasts nicely with the softer color of the chart. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe.